I love this car. So this is the best car in Forza Horizon 5. Hello everyone, welcome to Forza Horizon 5. Today I am much... I've got it to work! I've got it to work! Uh, okay, so what I did was restart the game, restart the computer. Okay, what have we got? What kind of deliveries? While well, we're here, I mean, usually I drive it first and then have a look at deliveries, but while we're here, might as well have a look. Uh, nothing particularly interesting. Let's try by searching, see what the most popular so far is. Meh. Meh. Okay, that's actually quite cool, but mm, not really what I'm looking for. Castrol is reserved exclusively for Chelikas and Castrol Tom Supras. Uh, doo -doo -doo -doo. Oh, there's already the good smile racing thing. Uh, da, 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 da. Nothing quite to my take. I quite like that, though. Got to be honest. What are the stock colours before we go for it? I think that is what I'll end up with. Stock colours. Literal nothing interesting. Let's see what it's like. I have claimed before that this is probably the best car in Forza Horizon 5. Let's see if I was right. I am so excited for this. It's like... I love this car so much. I've have I've never shut about up about this, but I have the privilege of seeing this thing in real life, and it looks sick. Oh, I like those headlights. Oh, this interior is awesome. I like this interior. I really like this interior. It's got AC. Excellent. I'm guessing we're going to have to go and drive this thing. I mean, after all, it's a track-only car. Well, I say track-only, I mean track-only. It's not even legal for competitions. Ferrari themselves say it's neither for the track nor for competition. It is entirely for, well, essentially experiments. Whoa, it launches quite mad for a... Wow, it launches ma Bro, I thought this car was rear-wheel drive. It's handling like a god. What is... It is rear-wheel drive, and I wouldn't change anything about it. This thing is amazing. No understeer at low speed. It does not like turning. It does not like it when you change up in a 90 left. But apart from that, this thing feels epic to drive. And it's got the downforce to beat Formula 1 cars. But claim not substantiated. Whoa! I mean, if it corners like this, without losing control, that is mental. Goliath lap coming soon. Probably, yeah. Probably tomorrow. It's got seven gears. Whoa! It handles like nothing I've ever driven before. This is amazing! I love this car. So this is the best car. In Forza Horizon 5. I've never driven anything anywhere near as nice as this. This puts everything else to shame. Wow. I love this. If it, wow. Just wow. The speed is phenomenal. The downforce is just unheard of. I mean... I bet you can put Forza on the front, at least. And then it'll be even more stupid. But you don't need it. Just leave this thing stock. It's 998 class stock, I should mention that. By the way, apparently it's developed in 2017, but this is 2015, 18. The horsepower figures look accurate. Nothing else particularly interesting. I don't want to look at stats. This car is... Well... I just want to drive it. Oh, well, oh, we finally... That was me, not the car, just to be clear. How nice is this thing going to be on the track? Seriously. We've got to try. It's, a, it's also quite nice to drive at low speeds. Okay, here we go. Outlap. This thing is amazing. 
This thing is amazing. It turns in exactly where you want it. It turns in when you want it. It turns in and how you want it. No matter what you want from this car, it delivers. But yeah, that was my fault, not the cars. I could do. I was. I didn't pull left hard enough. Yeah, that it, that corner it can definitely do without hitting the wall. What speed does it do this at? Stock Supra is 80 miles an hour. That could probably do it at 95, I'd say. Don't ask me why I'm comparing. I, I was trying to go to the pit lane. I don't know why. I was a bit overambitious there. It doesn't even... This thing controls itself so well. Like, rear-wheel drive cars of this category are usually absolute nightmares. But this thing is... It's spectacular. Never driven anything like it. Get yourself car pass if you haven't got it already. Although, that's another note. Forza, what the hell are you doing? Why are all the new cars car pass exclusives? That is ridiculous and... No, I'm so, and an obvious cash grab. You cannot change my mind. There is no reason that all the new cars, all the new exclusive cars, are car, pla car pass only. We have about eight cars that are that are new and not in the car pass. All the other new cars are car pass. It's it's. I'm sorry. That's just no. You can't do that. Well, you have, but. This cannot be locked behind car pass. Because it's just... A car as good as this shouldn't be in car pass. Also, this is... Um, this claim is definitely... Um, it's definitely not quite on the level of Forza Horizon 3, where the fastest Goliath car was DLC. The Koenigsegg Regera was the fastest Goliath car, and yeah, it was DLC. So, Forza, you have a history of doing this kind of thing. But having... Just the newest, coolest cars all behind Car Pass. While well, I get that to a point of Car Pass, I don't like it. We're already paying too much for a game that at launch wasn't ready. Rant over. Back to enjoying this car. I'm not. I don't. I think I can just end the video here. There is no point in continuing the video. Get yourself this car. It is absolutely amazing. I mean, at high speeds, this thing is better than anything I've ever driven. At low speeds, so far, it's doing quite well. Uh, right, we should probably go and test the low speeds capabilities. Where do we have a, a place that is just a bunch of corners? If that's two long corners, I'm thinking we need to go somewhere like here. Probably the... The engine sounds way too generic, by the way. Oh, I've just noticed, but I didn't haven't thought about that yet because I've been too focused on the driving. But the engine, it sounds so Forza generic engine. It's not acceptable. That is just the racing V12 sound, I'm convinced, isn't it? Okay, there's a bit of oversteer, but again, that's if you change up in the corners. And a bit of oversteer is fine, it's just I don't like uh, it's just when you start spinning. Yeah, this is fine, it's doing really well. And if in doubt, you can always pull the handbrake and. Okay, no, uh, it does have. If you pull the handbrake, it will bite you if you're not careful. If this is very much a just be careful what you're doing, it's very rear wheel drive in slow speed corners. But it's nowhere near the worst thing I've ever driven. I mean, it's it's not a handful. It's f completely drivable. It just it just spins its wheels up a bit if you floor it out of the corner at these speeds. But it's not understeering like the Hurricane Evo, which was obvious because that was a rear wheel drive. This is rear wheel drive. Why am I comparing this to a Hurricane Evo? 
no speed corners, this is perfectly alright. Okay. Yeah, there is, there's nothing to say about this car other than it's absolutely amazing. And I was right when I said that this would be the best car in Forza Horizon 5. And on that note, I do hope you enjoyed this video as much as I've enjoyed driving this car. And on that note, I've just said on that note, have a nice day. Goodbye.